This morning in family time, brought to you by our friends at the Roger Williams Park Zoo. School's almost back in session. I know I'm sorry to break the news to you about that. Uh, so we want you to enjoy the rest of the summer while it's still here. Here this morning from Roger Williams Park Zoo, uh, Jen Rudolph, along with Stacy Johnson and their animal ambassador, which is, uh, which is Orchid, a, uh, a tiger salamander. Thanks for coming in. Of course. Good always. to have you here. Um, Sissy, I'm going to start with you. So, so school, yeah, is getting ready to be back in session. But, but there's still time to come to the but zoo. But there's still time to go to the zoo. <laughs> Tell right. us about what's going on. There's all kinds of stuff going on. We have animal encounters out on the sidewalks every day. We do demonstrations with our elephant, with the, our keepers, do their, their husbandry training sure. and all the things they do for their health. But we actually interpret that for them. Uh, for the guests. Mm -hmm. uh, I saw a video the other day while it was still really hot. Um, we put, put like kind of a fire hose up for the elephants to take a shower during Fantastic. the day. Fantastic. And the elephants stand there and let it bounce <laughs> off their heads and we're soaking all the kids on the that's sidewalk. Great. It was awesome. Yeah. That's so, that's really great. And then this fall, even even after school starts, we have one day zoo camps coming up and, and some of our fall activities that if you go to our website, um, you can see all kinds of really cool educational and, and event related stuff going on. So is there an age group for a lot of those uh, those programs? There there is is, but it's you know everything from from toddlers all the way through high school. So okay. it, it's the programs are sort of stratified by age group and, and educational level, but there's something for everybody. Yeah, and there's even something for before we get to Orchid, but there, there's even something for adults because the uh, brew at the zoo is coming. It's coming up on the 27th. August 27th is our, our is our brew at the zoo. We have over a hundred brewers coming this year. I can't believe it. 170 beers, right. seltzers, um, ciders. Um, I keep hearing this thing about pretzel necklaces. I'm new to the East Coast. Fantastic. So, oh, so you got a, a great beer and some pretzels. Yeah, yeah. So it's, it's going to be, and, and there's a whole spectrum of beers. I'm not one of those IPA guys. I want something malty, right? Okay. We've got all of it. It's it's going to be really great. Right. And people can go to the website as well and get tickets. Yeah, they can get too. their tickets, and we recommend they do that early. This this is an event that sells out for us every time. Um, it's from 5 to 8 on the 27th, 5 to 8 p.m. on the 27th. Sure. And, and we say, you know, you can walk up if you want, but your chances are you're not going to get in if you walk up yeah. on the night. Buy the tickets early. Okay. All right. Sounds good. Okay. Let's get to uh, the ambassador. Let's get to uh, to Orchid. Tell to us about Orchid. Orchid. So Orchid is a tiger salamander. Yep. Um, they get their name from their beautiful pattern. Yeah, the pattern's on them. Some yeah. of them have a little bit more stripes. Orchid's kind of, you know, got this, this beautiful kind of little blobby pattern. Okay. But, um, they are the largest salamander in North America. You can't find them in the wild in Rhode Island, but most you of can? America, you cannot. Oh, you no. cannot. Okay, okay. Uh, but you can find them um, mostly central United States. Okay. Um, salamanders are awesome because they are what we call bioindicators. So if you see amphibians in an, uh, in a habitat. So um, frogs, salamanders, you know that that habitat is doing well and that's right. what we want as conservationists, that's right? That's great, yeah. Um, so they really they tell us. They would say that about, like, I actually have frogs in the yard all the time yes. and I'm always like, okay, this is a good, this is a good sign. Yeah, that's when you're sitting sign. outside at night in Rhode Island and you hear all that beautiful sounds, yes. you're like, okay, we're doing okay. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. So, so how old is Orchid? Because you, you were saying she's, she's older than probably most, um, and it's a good thing. Yeah. So she's 11. Okay. She was born in Chicago, Chicago girl. She was born at Brookfield Zoo. Mm -hmm. um, and then she came here last year. They can live, you know, we're hoping for 15 years. Wow. Uh, at zoos, a lot of animals outlive their life expectancy, right? right so right. maybe longer than that. That's Who good. Knows? I think we have currently have the world's oldest um, sand boa right now. Uh, she's yeah. like in her 30s. Really? Yeah. Um, so it's just quality of care, and we so, love what we do. So talk about, I, I know Stacey was saying some of the educational programs, and I know when, when kids go to the zoo, they can get up close and, and see these animals up close. What does that do for the, for the kids? Obviously, oh it, it opens up their, their world. Yeah, empathy, right? Right, right which so, we need. So um, biophilia is the, the term in conservation psychology, mm. right? It's this longing to connect with living things, sure. whether it's nature or animals. And um, you come to the zoo, you can go to Connection Corner, you can pet some armadillo, Mm -hmm. Super fun. Right. Um, you can pet some goats. You can see an animal like orchid up close, um, and it really just inspires curiosity, empathy. Um, that's we want to inspire um, everyone to save the natural world. Sure. Yeah. Because yeah. I mean, it, it really does. Everything depends on it, it, water being clean and the air being clean and all of these things. That's that's why they're here. Stacy, for you, um, what is it like when all these kids are coming in and, and seeing all of these animals? It's it it, it, it warms my heart. Sure. I, I, I get really excited about it. I you know I like to I like to tell our 
our education team. That uh, once upon a time I was in an educa I was an education curator at another zoo, and and my favorite experience in 35 years of working in zoos was zoo camp. Yeah, it really that is. I, that it's I was a lot of fun. It's just it, to watch those kids' eyes light up, and I love to see it with you with with adult humans as well. Sure. You know, people ask me what my favorite animal is, yes. and I say it's a five-year-old human. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. It always makes me happy when I'm when I'm going down 95 and I look over and you can see the part the the lot of the zoo just jam-packed with yeah. people and knowing that all the kids are in there really just enjoying it. The kids and adults are in there enjoying themselves. And with, you know, we're there to have a great time and accidentally learn something while right. we're at it right. and, and you know, really care about the natural world. Sure. We're so urban now in, in North America mm -hmm. that, that this is our connection to wildlife. This, right. is, this is what you know, we feel like we're providing something that they can't get anywhere right. else. Okay, Stacey, next time you're here, you guys are here, we bring, we need uh, the pretzel uh, necklaces. <laughs> okay. And you can bring some of the beer with you, too. Deal. Deal. Okay, sounds good. If you would like more information about this, thanks to our friends at Roger Williams Park Zoo, you can head on over to our website. That is roadshow.com.